Guardians of the Galaxy is the best Marvel film to date. Good feud. See you guys later. Look, nice try. Guardians was great. I have the poster right here, but nothing tops me and my Avengers. Seriously? We have a giant tree and a raccoon with a machine gun. We have a Hulk. All right then, you've sealed your own death. Guardians of the Galaxy versus the Avengers on Movie Feuds. Everyone knows who the Avengers are, but few went into the Guardians of the Galaxy knowing who this ragtag crew was. Where Marvel gave most of the Avengers one, maybe even two films to establish characters, Guardians does all this in one, and does a perfect job, with a lot of backstory and yet enough mystery to keep us wanting more. Everyone knows the Avengers because those are the characters we want to watch. We can't top Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, or Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Casting Ruffalo as the Hulk, genius. We didn't even mention Chris Evans as Captain America, and then you have Scar jo as Black Widow, and Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye. An impressive cast, to say the least, but I can counter them with my band of misfit toys. Vin Diesel plays the Pokemon of the bunch, Groot, as he can only say his name. Bradley Cooper as Rocket was a hell of a lot of fun to watch, and he creates insane weapons to mow down waves of enemies with ease. Then there's Drax the Destroyer, who can't comprehend sarcasm, much like Christian. What the hell are you talking about? I understand sarcasm. My mistake. Oh, love your show, by the way. Love it. Well, thank you, good sir. Wait, you're being sarcastic. Then there's Chris Pratt as Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord. It's amazing how quickly he transformed himself, both physically and personality-wise, for the role. I didn't once see him as the lovable doofus Andy from Parks and Rec. Here he plays a more Han Solo meets Malcolm Reynolds and does it with ease. I'm also going to make a ballsy statement here. Zoe Saldana's Gamora is greater than Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. There. It's out there now. You stupid son of a bitch. Nobody rocks the over-the-shoulder looks like Johan. And by the way, I would also like to add that the Avengers have a great supporting cast in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick Fury, Agent Coulson, Agent Maria Hill. Who? Kobe Smulders. How I Met Your Mother. Ah, yes. Right, 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 right. Guardians of the Galaxy has a fantastic supporting lineup, too, including John C. Riley, Benice Del Toro, Glenn Close, and Michael, I play a redneck in everything I've ever been in, Roker. This whole song and dance is all for nothing because my villain in Avengers trounces yours. Loki is manipulating, vengeful, calculating, and an absolute treat to watch on screen. He pits the Avengers against one another, and then he just sits back and he watches the show. Brilliant. There's a platoon of villains and Guardians, ranging from Ronin to his villainous sidekick, Nebula. I'm not going to go into spoilery territory with some of the other characters that pop up, but they are big, and I'm extremely excited to see where this goes with the Avengers franchise. The Avengers was brilliantly set up since day one. We get to see the team form, their struggles to work together, a fun antagonist destroying the city with an entire alien race. I'm actually surprised you're siding with the Avengers over the Guardians of the Galaxy, simply because I know you're a huge Star Wars fan. There's a ton of inspiration taken from that film, from the balance of light and dark humor to the Emperoresque shots via hologram. Then there's the whole gang of unlikely heroes coming together to trounce a much larger threat. Some of it absolutely works, and some of it felt a little forced sometimes. It was almost as if the actors had maybe a little bit too much free reign to ad-lib. Avengers is still one of my favorite superhero movies, but I'm more interested in this broken family now. I was also very impressed with the humor in the sci-fi action vehicle, poking fun at the other superhero cliches. Avengers stays focused, and every line is very well executed and delivered with ease. By the way, saw your impressions of myself and Mark. My God, you are a good impressionist. Really talented. That was actually really nice of you to say, Christian. Thank you. Obviously, Movie Feuds is nowhere near where Schmoes is right now, but hopefully within a couple more years, I'll be able to get you. Okay, you're being sarcastic. Son of a bitch. 
Now this is where the Avengers pull away with the win. You can't top the long shots of our heroes bashing the living shit out of every Shantari that comes in their way. Joss Whedon knows what the fans want, and it's variety. There's a full-scale battle that makes up the last third of this movie, and there's also very personal battles with Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man, Hawkeye. I mean, come on! There are explosions in this movie that Michael Bay would want to have sex with, if that was possible. The action in Galaxy is non-stop, which is more than I can say about the Avengers, which has the pacing of a dying snail. There are epic ship battles, a prison escape, gunfights, cool weaponry, and a genuine level of creativity that was missing in the Avengers. Let's get down to the Groot of the problem in the Avengers. Nobody dies outside of an agent or two. There's almost no tragedy being averted. The villains and guardians kill people off left and right. Dead, dead, dead. You're okay. Nope. Dead. Which are not even mourned in the slightest. Instead, more jokes are had and everybody just kind of moves along. Kind of like what I'd like to do with this feud. Let's get to the music already. Whoo that's the last place you want to go, Christian. Where to even begin here? The Awesome Mix Volume 2 contains, as stated, Awesome songs, Hooked on a Feeling, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and a nice little Jackson 5 number keep you waiting for the next number to bust out. Then there's the Tyler Bates compositions that work just as well. They work, absolutely, but it's nothing compared to the brilliance that is Alan Silvestri. This is the same man that did Forrest Gump and Back to the Future. Oh, I know. My last feuder was also rambling about this guy, to which I said, Mac and Me. A film he composed was Mac and Me. That movie always makes me hungry for McDonald's for some reason. Don't discredit a lifetime of great movie because of one dud from 20 years ago. Nobody tells me what thoughts are in my head that I should be thinking about right now. What the hell are you talking about? I, I don't know. I'm out of material. You threaten my world with war. James Gunn shot to kill here. He did a bang up job. He knocked Guardians out of the park. Okay, that last one wasn't really a gun reference, but you get it. It's no surprise to me either. He did one of my favorite horror films of all time, Slither. And he also did the underrated Super with Rain Wilson. Not to mention that your to-go films are Scooby 1 and 2. Okay, that's what we're doing now? Hey, you started with the whole Mac and Me bullshit. And now I'm gonna finish it. Watch me shut this thing down, Pitbull style. Guardians of the Galaxy is further progression of the superhero genre. It's not content just being the run-of-the-mill Save the Earth premise. It's a large-scale adventure with a unique cast of likable humans, aliens, experiments, and whatever the hell Groot is. I like Guardians a lot, and it certainly does have Star Wars vibes to it, but Star Wars it is not. The Avengers is the movie that we were patiently waiting for for a long time. Marvel set up the pieces, and then when they delivered, they knocked it out of the galaxy, if you will. Thanks for coming on, Christian. You schmoes really are class acts. Sarcasm again. Nah, this time I'm totes serious. I'm told kids say totes. Just plug your shit so we can get out of here. It's my pleasure, dude. Yeah, you can find us at youtube.com slash schmoes no, or just check out our live show every Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. PST on schmoesno.com. I was under the James Gunn when trying to rack my brain about what to put against Guardians of the Galaxy. It had to be Avengers though at the end of the day. It just had to happen. I didn't want to turn my back on them, but Guardians is the better film in my mind. Let's hear from you though. Put a comment below, like, vote, subscribe, do all that garbage. And remember, this is more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. And Christian, I'm sure you're going to win this round. Ah, now that was sarcasm. Big time. Is my boy doing good? <laughs> yeah. Bye!